So why why did you end up leaving Vice and uh, starting your own venture? Um, I think my time at Vice just ran it ran its course. You know, like I had the best time of my life at Vice. Um, you know, I started there when I was twenty four. Uh, just turned 24 and like I left when I was like 28 or some shit and it was just like the best time I, I can't even explain to you one day I want to write about it because it was just incredible like I advice you know I talk a lot of shit on vice now but honestly like vice oh like gave me my life you know it gave not gave me my life as in like who I am but it well yeah I guess in a way but it just gave me like I mean, man, I, I'd barely been out of the country before I started working at Vice. And the only time I had been out of the country was for like family holidays to like Spain and Spain. You know what I mean? It was like shit, man. So I went to, you know, I went to all these places, travel all over the world, just met people I would have never met. It was just so good. And also the environment in the office was just incredible. You know, like I loved it. There's a lot of people now I see chatting shit about the environment, the office, but at the time they fucking loved it too. Um, you know, it's a very stressful world, you know, it's dog eat dog there. It was like brutal, but if you could roll with it, you, you know, it was amazing. Very high energy or whatever you would say. Um, but then, you know, our, our like little news team at the UK, we made something like 80% of the, the vice news stuff. You know, I was always news. I was never interested in like all the, you know, dot com we used to call it, you know, like this dildo works here, but like, cool, whatever. I don't care. But we did, we you know, we did just did news and we did it really well. And we did all of this content. And then like HBO bought Vice out or Vice News out, you know, bought the concept, bought the the vertical, I think they call it. And then the, this amazing boss we had, Kevin Sutcliffe, he was moved out of his position. And then a guy from the BBC who didn't know his ass from his elbow, never been to conflict, never really been in the field. He came in, he was very rude. One of the first things he said, I'll never forget, he said, um, uh, any work you did before I arrived is not relevant. It's not important, you know? And this was like, what, two years after I'd been out of prison, you know? Like, I'd been in fucking jail filming for Vice. So I was like, fuck you, man. That really was raw for me. So I just thought, yeah, this isn't going well. Long story short, he said, you're unmanageable. I said, you know, because I would always, I got big mouth, man. And like, I kind of regret some of the stuff I would kick off about. But I do think that if you're going to be honest in the field, as a journalist as you should be you should be honest in the office and everyone was moaning and then they would say nothing to this guy they would just like suck his dick like not literally but you know what i mean they would just be like kissing his ass and like bitching about him behind his back and i was like fuck this guy like, i'm just gonna tell him and then i had a row with a guy in the u.s the head in the u.s news and i think everyone just got to the point where like like Jake's just an asshole. Like he won't shut up. Like he's a pain, which is, I understand. Like you can't have someone like that on board, but I was like, fuck it. I'm ready to go. Um, and they kind of said, look, you know, we're going to give you some money to leave if you want to leave. And I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. So yeah, let's go. So I left, but I, I kind of left on good terms. Actually, you know, I kind of said to them, I, I didn't really apologize, but I was like, look, man, you have to see it from my point of view. This is how I've been. This is what I've been doing had the most amazing years of my life, risking my life like on an unbelievable scale. And then suddenly this guy tells me like, you know, not just me, my team, like decimated our team. They started firing everyone and were just like, yeah, like none of your work's important. Then these Yanks, no offense, but then the US office were telling us how to do our job. And, you know, I was like, absolutely not. That's not happening. So yeah, it just kind of, it kind of fell apart like that for me, but we left on good terms. I did a lot of freelance stuff for them still um, now and then, but it got to a point where they started doing some shady stuff with their news. I felt like they were being dishonest and stupid move by me actually, but I couldn't help myself. I was on Twitter and that being like, this is bullshit. Why have they done this? I mean, it wasn't just me. It was often for other people. Like There were people on my team where like, you know, they deleted their work from the old website and stuff. And I kicked off about that. And, and anyway, let's just say that that uh, revenue stream dried up. <laughs> you know, they didn't want to send me anywhere anymore for freelancing because I was a gobshite. Um, and then, yeah, man, and then that's what happened. Um, 